Hey guys, it's Dave Gonzalez from MinusPaint.com and I just finished this final um, Beauty and the Beast um, picture. I actually did it for my stream. I just finished it last night. Tonight, it's like 2 a.m., but I just wanted to film it and show you guys what I'm working on right now. And um, here are the markers, the chameleon markers. And uh, here's a final painting or illustration of the scene is the release of Belle. So I put Belle on the left side and actually didn't take up much of the board with that. I actually didn't want to even put her in there, but then I, I thought I might put a scene in there. I thought it would be more interesting uh, if it told the story. And then there's Beast. I try to make him as kind of um, sad as I could. And uh, the rose right there is represented. And I did it really kind of um, impressionistic. I felt like that would be you know, the best way to paint this, at least the way I paint, the way I draw or illustrate things. So I use these uh, markers too, like I said, these are the Faber-Caster markers, the grayscale ones. Really cool and I use it to uh, outline the image and the beast, the bell and all that stuff and add all the background elements for this like kind of uh, muted, kind of blue, kind of gray tone. It gives it kind of a somber look and um, it. I just want to kind of explain it to you and go over, uh, you know, my thoughts real fast and um, everything like that. So, and uh, they use these chameleon things. Actually, I broke them apart. You're not supposed to do this, but what the hell, whatever. Um, I just did it because I bought the wrong. These are color tips, not the whole marker. Apparently, you need another marker with this. Didn't know that. Whatever, I broke them apart and used them. <laughs> so, thank you guys for following. Check me out again. Check out my stream. Subscribe. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And um, I'll be back again. Appreciate it. Later.